Precious Metal Summit 2022 in Zurich, and we want to talk now to Sarama Resources. And Andrew Dinning, the CEO, is here with us. Hey, how are you, Andrew? Long time no see. Long time no see. <laughs> I'm doing very well, thank you. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Done Good quite a lot of things since I saw you last. So. Yeah, that's yeah. right. A really a lot happened, yeah, okay. I must say. But uh, especially in the last, uh, yeah, what can you say, last week something happened also in Burkina Faso. May, maybe we addressed that first because it was another coup, what, you, what we would say, but you said it's like a change in government. Yeah, I think we, we um, it's not the first, that's not our first rodeo. And I think in Burkina Faso and many other countries in in Africa and particularly West Africa, it's, of recent times, it's more been a way of changing government mm -hmm. um, or the heads of government. So uh, I guess what we've seen in Burkina Faso, there was a change on a Friday. Um, the a new, new head of state put in on the Monday, borders closed for the weekend and then back to business as normal on Monday morning. So mm -hmm. limited impact on operations. I think all the mines kept operating. They haven't made any silly changes mm -hmm. to laws or anything like that. They just mm -hmm. focused on pushing Burkina Faso ahead because it's mm -hmm. obviously had a few troubles in recent times. So really they're trying to make progress on that. Mm -hmm. um, for us, really, it's, it's, it's business as usual. We'll have some new bureaucrats to deal with along the way, but Okay, you as get long that as it in works. any country. Yeah, that's exactly. right. Yeah. So. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, then let's come to your company. Yes. So, what were the most important developments this year? Yep. What are you doing exactly in Burkina Faso? Yeah, look, I think this year has been a big year for Sarama. Um, we had a few years where things were very slow, where we had a, a restrictive joint venture with Acacia come Barrack. Mm -hmm. um, we managed to resolve that um, and then. Uh, we had a couple other in-country things to sort out last year, which we did. Mm -hmm. um, and then we listed on the Australian Stock Exchange this year. So um, we're now a dual-listed company, so we're listed on the ASX and the TSX. Mm -hmm. um, so we started on the ASX in May, and of course everyone knows it follows the gold market. It's not been a great market since then. But I think importantly for us, we raised $8 million Australian with the listing, mm -hmm. and we've deployed that pretty much straight away because uh, drilling in Burkina Faso is seasonal. So we got as much drilling in as we could before the rainy season came, so we managed to get 20,000 metres of drilling done as well. Oh, nice. So yeah, we've been very busy this year with the listing and drilling. Um, we've still got a few more drill results to put out yet, but we've put out four lots of results so far, and mm -hmm. the drilling's been very good. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably in line with or better than expectations. We've got some new discoveries as well, and we've got a whole new geological analogue to chase as well. So mm -hmm. yeah, we're pretty, we're pretty happy with progress on that side, and we're just waiting for the rains to to clear up so we can mm -hmm. get back out in the field. Okay, super. Can you give us a bit more of an idea what kind of results you got? Is it like gold only? Um, is it more for open pit? Is it more underground? Yeah. Just an idea for our viewers. Yeah, um, a, a exploration really has just been focused on oxides, so shallow, near surface, high impact materials, so very high value. So mm -hmm. our deposits come to surface, they all start mm -hmm. at surface. Um, so the drilling is just really focused on near surface oxide materials, so easy to treat, cheap to treat, um, but also targeting the high grade material that's near existing resources, but not within um, the current resources that we've got now. So we see this material as, as highly accretive, and it gives us a very disproportionate return on investment when it comes to, to exploration. So we, we're over the threshold from a size point of view, so really what we're doing now is just upgrading and expanding the, the resource that we've got. Mm -hmm. And how large is the resource by now? Yeah, the resource on our main project, Sanatura, is around 3 million ounces, and a third of that is oxides, which mm -hmm. is important from a development point of view, and about two-thirds of that's over two grams. So mm -hmm. we've got several different material types, but our focus for stage one is just purely oxides, mm -hmm. and our aim is to get to around seven or eight years start on oxides, doing mm -hmm. nominally around 120,000 ounces a year. So mm -hmm. we're pretty close to that point now. Wow, okay. And any byproducts? No, we just pure, pure gold. gold play. Yep. Pure gold play. Okay, super. Um, yeah, so um, how many more um, results you have to you, you can bring out by now to do then the new resource calculation? Yeah, we've got probably two more news releases with results mm -hmm. in it, but we've done 20,000 meters of a 50,000 mm -hmm. meter program, so we won't do a resource update until we've completed that drill program. Mm -hmm. Um, historically, our discovery rates have been seven to ten ounces per meter drilled. Mm -hmm. So, if we hit that rate again, we should add between three hundred and fifty and five hundred thousand ounces in this drill program, mm -hmm. and that'll all be shallow, near surface oxide material. 
Okay, super. And what would be then next? Let's give, in, give it a, a beautiful resource update. Yes. Let's speculate a bit. Yes. And what will you do then? More infill drilling, going to, let's say, PEA status. Yeah. Uh, what, what are you doing? We, we would aim to be doing a resource update around the middle of next year. Mm -hmm. So you know, maybe seven or eight months time. And mm -hmm. um, the drilling we're doing, because it's shallow, it's very quick mm -hmm. uh, and relatively inexpensive to do. Um, so we'll do the resource update, we'll have a look at the data. We've already done a lot of work internally framing up the project looks like. Um, it's just not in a format that we can publish as a PEA, but I would say it's you know, of the standard or better than most PEAs mm -hmm. you see getting put out. Mm -hmm. So the question for us at the moment is what size project we want to actually build. Mm -hmm. um, but the numbers internally look very good. At the current gold price, the payback on a $150 million development would be under 18 months. Wow. So yeah, it, it looks good. So we, we need to do the work to verify that so we can mm -hmm. actually put those numbers formally into the market. Yeah. So we would see the second half of next year being the time that we do that work where we crystallise a lot of this work that we've done mm -hmm. internally and get it in a format that's acceptable to the regulators so we can actually file it in, in North America. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but yeah, the numbers do look good. Wow. Um, the, the, the resource to reserve conversion now is probably 55 to 60 percent. Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah, it's a not a bad looking project. Oh, definitely. Yeah, that looks really good. Yeah. So how much money do you have uh, in total? You said $8 million you raised through the Australian IPO. So what, what's still left in the bank? We had four million at the end of June quarter. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we've still obviously still got a lot of work to do over the mm -hmm. next 12 to 18 months. Obviously, mm -hmm. when we hit some milestones, we'll look to, to top up the treasury. Mm -hmm. um, the, probably the biggest kind of drag for us at the moment is the, the, you know, the macro environment with the markets. Mm -hmm. So that, that does dictate a little bit mm -hmm. the speed at which we work and what we mm -hmm. do because we're mindful of having to raise and what okay. price we need to do it at. So we want to maintain the flexibility in our approach to the capital markets. Mm -hmm. um, it feels like the market's starting to roll over, so hopefully that's, that's uh, roll over in the right direction. I guess roll up, not roll down. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we'll see what happens over the next few months and, uh, and look forward to a big year next year. Yeah, it sounds definitely like that. Super, Andrew, thank you very much for the update and insight. And I would say uh, keep, it, uh, keep the drills turning and yep. uh, bring a beautiful resource out. No worries. I look forward to giving an update this time next year. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay, thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it was Andrew Denning, the CEO of Sarama Resources. And you heard it, the drills are turning. They have done already 50,000 and then 20,000 meters this year. And yeah, they want to bring out a new resource estimate within the next seven to eight months. There's still $4 million left in the bank. That is, I would say, a nice cushion to have. Of course, they have to do something uh, probably by next year, but we will see how the macroeconomics are. But in Interesting company, check it out. Thanks for watching us and bye bye from the Precious Metal Summit 2022 from Zurich.